Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks, sampler for you. Series videos I've been doing for a little while. I'll go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit of a later night one. It's about 7.30 at the time I'm doing this. So we're now on the tail end of summer, so I'm taking advantage of the extra light. But anyway, folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there and try out food and or drink items for you whilst I'm doing so. I'm yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing for you today, folks? Well, it happens to be my, boom, my Calva Louise shirt. Very cool shirt. I always like uh, green on black. Great color combination. What is Calva Louise, though? Uh, Calva Louise is an awesome-ass band. I think they're out of the UK, but, like, then their members are all sort of from, like, different areas, uh, you know, around the globe. And uh, I ran into them a few months ago. They were opening up a show. And, man, they were fucking awesome. Like, really, really enjoyed their set. Was blown away. Like, one of the things I love about going to shows is getting to experience new bands, especially in that raw format. And it doesn't always work out. You know, I don't like every band that I run into. But when I do, you know, it's this wellspring of emotions. And that definitely was the case with Calva Louise. I just thought they were fucking badass. So much so, I obviously got some merch. I also went over there and I got some videos of their performance. Those videos are on this channel as well, just in case maybe you want to check them out. If nothing else, folks, I'd be more than happy to point you in the right direction as far as their music goes, because I think they're an incredible band. But anyway, what am I trying for you today, folks? What are we doing here? Well, this is sort of a continuation. I don't have a series name for this run of series, but basically for the past several months, I've been going over there and I've been trying out uh, a run of basically in-house brand sodas, like, so, you know, Walmart branded sodas, uh, Walgreens, all the walls, you know, let's get that out of the wall flowers, that's a thing, um, that was a terrible joke, but we're gonna stick with it, but anyway, uh, yeah, and basically just going over there, trying out different budget sodas and stuff like that, and kind of just seeing, you know, is it worth it for the price, you know, is that potential dip in quality gonna be worth, you know, paying a little bit less, so, one of said lines that I've been doing is from a local Illinois supermarket brand called Jewel. And I've been very aware of Jewel my entire life. Big fan of theirs. And they happen to have a line of sodas called Boom Signature Select. That is their line of in-house sodas. I reviewed a number of them now. Uh, I think I've reviewed most of their stuff at this point. There's like one or two that I still need to get to. But this is their Cherry Cola. Sure, man. I'm super down for that. Well, okay, it says cherry soda, now that I'm looking at it more clearly. Does that mean it's a cherry cola, or does that mean it's like a black cherry soda? Ooh. Well, that could make things interesting, depending on how this goes, because uh, as long as it's a cherry cola, I'm also going to compare it against, boom, cherry Coca-Cola. We'll have to see. I'm going to have to do two things for the thing. We'll do one just by itself. We'll kind of, ha, 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 and then we'll do one with both. <laughs> Cover our bases. Maybe it'll, I think this is going to work a little bit better over here. <laughs> yeah, okay, and we'll kind of like this. We'll just like, ha, 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 ha. So I'm going to try this out, find out what it is, and then we'll see if I'm going to compare it. Doesn't make any sense to compare it if it's a black cherry cola, or black cherry soda, so... But I have really enjoyed the Signature Select stuff so far. I, this has got to be a cherry soda, or a cherry Coke, right? Yep, that's cherry Coke. Let's give it a go. Not bad. Now, I did review, and yeah, that's definitely, definitely just a, a cherry cola. Um, and the thing is, I know that Jewel used to have a black cherry soda, because we used to get it when I was a kid. But I don't... Don't think they've had that available for a very long time. But um, I have already reviewed the Signature Select, uh, just their normal cola, and I actually really liked that. I thought it was really good. 
So, coming into this, you know, certain expectations sort of been met. One thing I always like to mention when it comes to the signature select stuff, I love the way that it drinks. It doesn't taste like a, or it doesn't drink like a cheap soda. It has a nice amount of carbonation. It has a nice bite to it. It doesn't feel thin when you drink it. And some, some sodas, especially some budget sodas, they do have kind of a thinness to them, you know, taste a little bit kind of watered down. That's not the case with Signature Select. Everyone that I've tried from, they feel like a full soda. Now, that said, how good is it? Is it doing a good job of representing a cherry cola? All that stuff. It's good. There's nothing I dislike about it. There's no, like, weird aftertaste or anything. like Because, again, yeah, some budget sodas especially can give you some weird fucking tastes. Um, that's not the case here. Perfectly tasty. It tastes like a cherry cola. Uh... I will say, though, does taste, whereas I felt like with the, the normal cola, I felt like they really did a great job with that and were really pretty dang close to, like, a full cola experience. This, I would say I feel it's a little bit less so. Not by miles. Like, it's still nice. It still tastes better than I would say most budget sodas do. And most budget brands don't even do, like, a cherry cola, at least not that I'm aware of. So I'll give them credit in that regard. And as far as being a cola is concerned, it has a nice cola taste. I think that aspect works really nice. The cherry aspect, I do feel is a little bit lacking. I feel like that's kind of where it loses a little bit of, it loses a point for me. Mind you, it is definitely still a cherry cola. It's easy to identify as thus. Um, but yeah, it's just... Mm, it, it's just lacking a little oomph. That's the thing. Just a little bit more cherry flavor, a little bit extra oomph, and this would really hit pretty dang hard for me. As is, though, it's still pretty good. But let's compare it against the actual stuff. Mind you, we are also giving an advantage to the Signature Select because it's in a can, not in a bottle. Cans are superior to bottles. Ain't no two ways about that. Unless it's a glass bottle. Glass bottles are epic tier. Oh, and I do love some cherry cola. It's been a while since I've had one, just a straight cherry cola, though. Ooh. The funny thing is, I was expecting the, the difference, the biggest difference, to be in that cherry flavor... It's actually not <clears throat> as far off as I was assuming. I would say there's a little bit more cherry flavor in the Coke, but not by miles. The funny thing is the, the biggest difference is actually in the rest of the experience. You don't always appreciate it until you're really drinking it, and especially if you're doing like a comparison, but just like the, the spiced aspect of Coke, you know, just the flavors that they use really is part of the reason why it's basically the most popular uh, soda brand in the world. You know, it, it has that that X factor to it. This is still a pretty dang good cherry cola, but with this, there's just more depth, more layers to the flavor. It's just, it's just an overall better, better experience. I will mind you, I wasn't expecting the signature to select to come out on top, but I did feel it was important try to do that direct comparison um okay well i wasn't doing a uh a really who was going to win situation but the coke wins there's no denying that it's definitely the better option in terms of flavor however three questions have to be asked would i get the signature select again would i recommend it does it do a good job of representing flavors it's supposed to especially for the value Excuse me. Yes, yes, and yes. I think that in every regard, even though I don't, I'm not quite as impressed with this one as I was. Eh, we'll do a thing there. Sorry, the lighting sucks. I, I apparently took a little bit too long. I didn't think that the ten minutes or so it takes me to do my video, I would lose so much light. Um, it's okay. It only matters for the thumbnail. But the uh, no, you know what? I would say 
even though I'm not as impressed with it as I was with the, the normal cola, I do like it. Like, it's, it's not a bad cherry cola. I think it works pretty well. Again, if you're putting it directly next to the OG stuff, it doesn't quite, it doesn't quite stack up, you know. But, when we're talking about something like this, we're talking about, you know, again, the value for the money. And for me personally, you know, considering Signature Select, Signature Select tends to cost a little bit more than, like, say, the Walmart branded stuff. But, I would say across the board, the Signature Select stuff that I've had has been much better in terms of just flavor and quality. So, I would get it again. I'd be willing to pay that tiny bit extra over Walmart to get the Signature Select. And if I'm recommending it, I think that, yeah, absolutely I would. You know, if you happen to live in Illinois. Oh, and by the way, because Jewel is an Illinois kind of institution, this review is going to end up on my Eating Out Illinois playlist, which is a playlist for just sort of highlighting Illinois spots. Um, but I mean, yeah, you know, I think if you happen to live in Illinois, you know, yeah, Jewel tends to. Not always, though. I do want to emphasize that. Um, you know, they do tend to cost a little bit more than, say, your Walmarts or Targets. They're a little bit... You know, they're not on such a huge scale, but there's always some good deals to be had there, and especially if you're a member, which apparently I am. I, I don't even know when the hell I joined up, but I punch in my phone number and it works, so, uh, but yeah, I think that Signature Select is a really nice option, and I think that, you know, again, in terms of, like, the, the budget brands, I genuinely think that they do the best job in terms of representing what they're going, what they're trying to put out for that price range, so... Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Stupendous rest of your year. Folks, go over there themselves a truly cherry coke to ask rest of your life. But I'm talking the 90s cherry coke. The one with the crazy ass black and red when everything was meant to be edgy and awesome. Why did we go away from that? This branding sucks. It's so lame. I get it. It can't be the same edgy. I, it could. We could bring it back right now. But... The branding on this sucks, man. I get it. It's a, it's a new era and stuff, but it's so lame. It, you can't even tell it's a cherry unless you're paying fucking close attention. Bah! Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there whenever possible. <sighs> Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully, do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, what's your opinion on the current branding of Coca-Cola products? I personally think we need more variety. I have on more than one occasion been burned when I went to go over there and grab a Coca-Cola product and I was like, oh, ba -ba 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 -ba. and then either I grab the zero sugar version of it or I go over there and I grab something, you know, some other flavor I wasn't meaning to grab because it's all the same shit now, you know, and it's like, come on, dude. I, I personally think they really need to spruce up, you know, their labels and stuff like, you know, it doesn't have to be anything outrageous, but Help us out. Help the consumer out, goddammit. Anyway.